Poverdill from Oakland. She's in lane four and gets off to the best start. Coverdill blowing by her competitors. And she will cross the line first. Now remember, now this is not a prelim. So for those of you watching, you're like, okay, Coverdill. Now Parker got a little bit of a second stu a stutter step there. We'll see if she can recover. It's a close one. And right to the end, it, it looks like Parker may have edged it out. Well, she Great start for Hudson Turpin out of the block. Yeah, but in lane two right now, Natalie Block has burst on the scene. And it looked like Block might have had the fastest time in that section. It was between Block and Jackson. There's one. So that'll take out runners in lanes two and three. That's a tough break for YSU's Cole Smith and same thing for Jason Op Cop from uh, Oakland. Good start. Very good start for Colin Harden for Youngstown State. Harden got there, had to get there after the last hurdle. Finishes with a time of 14.35. Very nice start out for Shayna Rutledge. But it looks like Cameron Campbell will pull away here in this first section with a time of 12.40 seconds, followed by Slow start out of the gates by Dumas. And it looks like Mixon will be your winner of this second heat. We'll see what time she puts in. So fast out of the gates. Yep, there you go. And Jalea Elliott with a time of 11.78 uh, seconds. Now I think they've got Bowers. Oh, Bowers. Yeah, they got Bowers Elliot. one, Matlock two. Elliott did not run. As we're underway here in the first section of the 100 meter dash. Beckin and Airman, one, two. Looks like Beckin will be the victor of this first section with a time of 11.12 seconds. Yeah, our timed finals today was the uh, the two sets of hurdles, the 100 meters, the 400 meters hurdles, and then uh, you know later on tonight the relay. So Harden is your winner in this section, 10.73. It looks like it's Outlaw, your leader. It's a neck and neck race all the way to the end. I'll tell you what, Christian Ford may have grabbed that one out for yeah, Youngstown I think you're State. Right. I think you're right. So Jessica Hudson Turpin of Purdue Fort Wayne with the early lead. Turpin in lane seven. This will change quickly though when you get the inside lanes now to catch up. Natalie Block now taking the lead, coming around turn number four. Yeah, this is Block's event. Block making her way quickly down towards the finish. I'll tell you what, Rob, that is real close 
just missed the facility record. Natalie Block with a time of one minute and 1.11 seconds. Did you see Colin Harden in the fourth lane? Three-time defending champion of this event. He made that move on the back straightaway right out of the blocks. But even though it's a staggered start, he was already midway through that back straightaway third. He had come out of the blocks and was off. Separating herself just a tad from Fry, but the final jump into the water. There you go, this will be your kick. There it is. I thought Fry was gonna try and kick it in right there coming around the corner. Halsey may have held her off. It looks like Halsey will prevail here in the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase. Good run, that's a good run. Good race. I mean, he's at 828 right now. So don't know if he'll be able to get that league record, but. That's his last, I mean, that's his, that's his last water hazard. He's got one more hurdle to go. He's at 840 right now, coming down the home stretch. So Kyle Masson, the winner, the men's 3,000 meter steeple chase. He did it at eight, eight minutes yep. and 56 seconds. So a new facility record.